time at Deputy Murphy. Thank you. Um, I welcome that the issue of Irish water has been brought into the Dáil for debate, uh, Cahir, like it's something that the Social Democrats called on uh, this week. It is an important issue, but obviously it is only one of the important issues facing the country. We're dealing with crises in homelessness, housing, distressed mortgages, health care and child poverty to name but a few. And it would have been entirely unacceptable for the 32nd Dáil to fall because of an inability for Fianna Fáil and Fianna Gael to find a compromise solution in uh, talks that none of the rest of the Dáil obviously are involved in. Um, but this debate today is about Irish water. Now, most members of the House, uh, if not all, agree that investment in the water system is required and it amounts to the tune of an additional several hundred million a year uh, for at least the next seven to ten years. So significant additional investment is required. And most, though probably not all members of the House, also agree that the water supply should remain in permanent public ownership in this country. Now the solution to the second of those is very straightforward. First, hold a referendum seeking to change Article 10 of the Constitution, enshrining the water supply in public permanent ownership. And secondly, disbanding Irish water as a commercial semi-state and setting up a public water board or whatever it is we want to call it. Those two acts would absolutely guarantee that the Irish water system remains in public permanent ownership. And regardless of what happens on domestic charges, which I'll come to now, uh, those two things should happen. And I imagine a very strong majority of this House would uh, support a referendum and would support setting up, uh, basically ending the commercial semi-state that is Irish water. Now, the solution to uh, how to find the funds for investment, obviously, is a lot more complex. Um, the main argument for domestic charges has been that the money is needed for additional investment. And this, of course, is a false argument. The economics of the water charge are such that the amount of money raised more or less covers the cost of raising the money. So not a single euro paid out by any Irish household is being used to invest in the water system, nor indeed has it even been used to provide them with uh, water today. It covers the cost of taking the money off them. And yet, capital investment is happening. Much needed capital investment, a very welcome uh, improvement in capital investment, is happening. But how is it happening if the domestic water charge isn't raising any money to make it happen? It's happening because Irish water is borrowing. The second argument, therefore, put forth by the government for a domestic water charge is that having a domestic water charge allows Irish water to borrow this money, thereby Minister Kelly referenced the fiscal space earlier on, therefore we don't have to shrink uh, the fiscal space. But Irish water is borrowing on balance sheets, and therefore the Irish state, at a much lower cost, can borrow on balance sheets to do exactly the same thing. Now, it costs about twice as much money in Ireland per capita to supply water as it does in the UK, including in Northern Ireland, where they're dealing with very similar uh, uh, geography, very similar population density. And therein lies the answer to finding the money, the several hundred uh, uh, million euro a year required for capital investment in the system. Targets have already been set for Irish water by the regulator and agreed with Irish water by the regulator. A significant cost saving can be found by bringing 34 uh, utilities into one uh, national entity. That money can and should be used to fund the upgrading of the system. There is a short term cash flow uh, lag between the savings that can be found because you have to do it without temporary, uh, sorry, without per, uh, uh, compulsory redundancies and so forth. So it does take time and the investment is required now. Irish Water is bridging that funding gap by borrowing, but they're borrowing on balance sheets. The state can do exactly the same thing. Uh, Cahirlik, it is a reasonable argument that says provide everybody with a very generous allowance for free and then charge people for excess usage. 
The reason not to do that is because it costs about 100 million euro a year to charge people for water, and it is too expensive just to stop a very few people um, from using too much water. So for these reasons, the Social Democrats believe that the domestic water charge in Ireland does not make sense. We would like to see a referendum held, and we would like to see the commercial semi-state ended and a national uh, water board constituted. Thank you.